may have to do is change your controller if the one that you're using doesn't isn't working properly. It will let you know that it's not working properly. Um, and so that's why you have a backup at home so that you can switch to the new controller. The first thing you need to do is whichever power source you are on, so I'm gonna do it from me being on battery power, um, you need to hook the other controller up to your power module at home. And the reason the alarm is going off is because I hooked it up to power, but it's not hooked up to the pump. So it's letting me know that it, the pump is not attached to it. So silence the alarm and that should give you a little less anxiety while you're switching. And the next thing we need to do is get them in line. We're going to disconnect from this one. We're going to switch the lock off. We're going to push the button in. So the two arrows are in line now. Push the button in. Open up. Again, line up the black line and the black line. Silence that one again. That one you don't even need to worry about because you've disconnected it. And now you're hooked up to AC power. If you want to hook up to battery power again, it's nice and simple. Just hook the new controller up to your batteries and you're ready to go.